What's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel. We are back with a new video for y'all. I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched our previous video this week. You guys left a lot of comments about Amber Rose and Khloe Kardashian. So I want to thank y'all for that. And I want to say thank you to those that watched our Match Made in Heaven Episode 3 review. If you didn't watch that, please watch that. You know, WeTV asked us to discuss the show, so we would love for our audience to check out the recap. And if you really like the recap, watch the show on WeTV on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Um, so today, as you guys know, we um, were on... Turn down, it's hot. Really? Yeah, very hot. That's why I turned it on because it was I was trying to get some air. But that's on heat, right? No. That feel like it, but why is it so hot in here? Or maybe I got that, the, they got the heat on. Oh, they have the heat on. Oh well, I guess turn it down. <laughs> I wouldn't do no. Uh, I thought that was heat. Mm -mm. My bad. Um, but can we open this? Ooh, not too far because I don't want the thing yeah. to be on there. You talking about Fox? Oh yeah, we were on, this morning we were on Fox 29 Philadelphia thanks to Jennifer Frederick inviting us to come to the, sh um, come to the uh, studio. studio to discuss Empire, which is a show that we all love and you know everyone is watching and this week, oh my god, the ratings went through the roof what was the ratings again, like 12.9 million people. And last week it was like 11.9. So, I mean, this show, everyone's watching, everyone's talking about it. Everyone has been going crazy, especially um, Whoopi Goldberg. I was watching The View. Um, what's today? Today is it's Friday. Yeah, so I was watching it on Wednesday. And Whoopi Goldberg, she was just like, y'all have to watch this show. Taraji P. Henson was on. Whoopi done made Taraji cry. Because it was just, Whoopi like... You've been doing this for a long time, but this is your moment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Taraji was trying to be, you know, gracious and downplay it, but Whoopi wasn't trying to go for that. So, when you have an Oscar winner telling you... A legend? Yes. Is a legend. She has everything. She don't want everything. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have someone like that telling you you're it, believe it. And don't even downplay it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, and, you know, she was just, she was just real happy. Like, she was fighting back those tears on the view and you know it's just a show that we all love and we recap and you know I, I just sent out I, again I sent it out as a joke like you know bring up you know bring us on here then I got scared and then I got the email and then I called and then we were there the next day which is which was yesterday and when we got there you know I had a chance to um, speak with Jen you know because Mikel didn't listen to Bob Kelly in the traffic reports, but he did get there in time for the, um, you know, and, and for the segment. But, you know, Jen and I had a chance to talk talk about the Scorpion show and how the show has grown. And we was talking about a lot of stuff. And um, one of the, um, what you call the interns, she was um, telling me about how she really wanted to do, um, she really wanted to do, like, entertainment reports and stuff like that. And I was just telling her, you know, you don't have to just, I know you're going to school and everything, but you can start right now. Why wait on e-news? Come on, you can start your own YouTube channel. It seems like, you know, you know what you want to do. So go ahead and do it. And you, who knows, you never know who is going to watch your video. So I'm glad that I was able to talk to her and, you know, tell her about that. And Jen is just, first of all, Jen is just cool as fuck because... <laughs> I've been watching Good Day for a long time, and I've always remember her being there. And you know, she's let me tell y'all something. She's down. She knows what's going on. She's just not one of those. I, first of all, I don't know. I don't want to come off wrong, but she does. She's not one of those people who pretends to know what's going on. Yes. And behind closed doors, she really doesn't. She actually is. What you see is what you get. When you see her, that's her. And. Even when the camera's off, she really does know what's going on. Like yes. She's your fun girlfriend. Like mm -hmm. You and her could go and kiki for hours yes. about things and people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. <laughs> 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 about things and people. You really can. And she's fun. Yeah. She's fun. Yeah. So, um, um, what I was about to say. So, I just want to say thank you to those that also watch on the internet because, you know, Jim was just excited that. You guys got people watching from all over. You know, she kept saying Dubai. Shout out to Ali Samir, who's in Dubai. 
Um, some people tweeted us that they were watching from London, South Carolina, uh, Texas, Atlanta. Did I say Atlanta? Atlanta. People were just watching all over California. Just thank y'all so much for supporting us because I know Fox 29 seen everything today. Mm -hmm. Like y'all showed up and y'all showed out. And I just know we're going to be on Fox 29 again. So, you know, I, I'm just waiting to come back on. You know, hopefully, yes, uh, in a longer segment. So, for me, my experience, like, it, because it was live, for me, I could hear the TV. Because I could hear the TV on the outside of them talking. And Jennifer is sitting in the middle of us. So, she was, like, telling us, you know, they're talking about this, they're talking about that. But if I haven't watched the video, and I, and I don't want to, but it was just for me, like, I didn't want to come across as like, oh my God, what's going on? But ain't nobody say nothing like that. So I was cool. Anything people talked about was, you know, that my head and my nose look very, very shiny on TV. And that's because, you know, I put a little extra baby oil and I should have. I normally dab it off, but I didn't. I, I didn't have the time for that because I was running a little late. But I don't think there was anything wrong with that. Yeah. Because you also have to remember the lights from the camera. Yep, the that's, yeah, I, I didn't even think of that. Yep, the light. I'm sure you did. But fuck yeah. But, <laughs> but for me, my I, my experience was great, and I'm looking forward to more times coming into Fox 29, and not just being in the green room. I want to be, you know, in that studio to chat with Mike and Alex and stuff, because you know I'm in and know I know what be's going on. So, you know, so you know I, I've been talking for like five minutes. I'm gonna let you go in. I had a good time. I enjoyed myself. I appreciate the invite that Jennifer extended to us, and I cannot wait until they extend another one mm -hmm. because we will be there, us and our viewership. Yeah, our viewers. Uh, and let me tell you, not even just the viewers. My phone was going off while I was sitting down in the chair. My phone kept, <laughs> my phone kept vibrating. People, people just showing so much love. Facebook, Instagram. Um, people on YouTube, I, I check y'all messages later, but especially Twitter, Twitter was just popping, like, it was like 50 notifications, and sometimes it'd be like 5, but this time, it was 50, so, you know, I'm just grateful that you all were watching, you all were supporting us, people sending private messages, people that I, I don't even see on Facebook were just writing so much words of inspiration, and thank you all so much, um, and again, you know, we look forward to going back to 529 and you know it's very hard to speak and 140 characters or less on TV I will tell you that now so if you got something you got to say you got to be quick on your feet say what you got to say and keep it moving because you only get three four minutes to you know say what's on your mind but it was just it was a fun experience for us and again thank you so much to Fox 29 and if we're not on Fox 29 before y'all think we should be back if y'all think it's been too long tweet them okay and follow make sure y'all follow Jennifer on uh, Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave her links in the more info box because we want y'all to support her for supporting us and giving us this opportunity. Because that was a hell of a promotion. Yes. When I looked at the screenshots that people were sending me and it said Kevin Simmons and Mikkel McClendon, The Scorpion Show, and it just had Fox 29 and us sitting there in between Jennifer, I was just like, bitch. And that's what you call promotion. Yes. <laughs> A little rinky dink YouTube show out of your mother's cramped house. Yes, I was telling you. <laughs> yeah, because it is cramped. Because yes, cramped but he didn't have to put that in the newspaper. <laughs> I was telling Jennifer how this guy, I think it was the city paper, Philadelphia Weekly, that's what it was. He wrote this article about us a long time ago, maybe like 2009. We were just like starting. Right now, yeah. And, um, he was like in a cramped North Philadelphia home, two sugar-fueled teenage girls. I said, he went in on us. And, you know. But he didn't interview me. He interviewed you. Know, yeah, but it was still like, yeah. you went in on us. Yeah. And I hope he, didn't, he don't work there no more. So, but yeah, it, it was just a fun experience. So, we're going to get on. So, since we're talking about Empire, um, last night, Empire was like, one of, this was the most pivotal episode because we found out where the company is going. The company finally did their showcase to the investors. So, you know, you know they're trying to get more money mm -hmm. for people to invest in the company because, you know, Lucius is making it a privately owned company. And 
we seen what was going on with um, not not Andre and Jamal. We seen what was going on with Jamal and Hakeem with them, you know, fighting with each other, trying to get it together to do the uh, performance. And you know, Cookie let that shit be known. Y'all gonna stop this? Y'all gonna stop this shit? Y'all gonna stop this? And soon as I said, oh oh yeah, Cookie ain't playing. She's not playing about her money. Lucius come out of nowhere. Listen to your mother, Hakeem. Listen to your mother. Blah, 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 blah. She's like, no, no. I know they're going to have a good performance. I'm just not playing about my money. I told y'all. She's all about her money. You ain't going to fuck up my money. No, but. No, you not. <laughs> that you won't do. So. 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 In the, be in the beginning, we see on the beginning of the episode, we find out about Olivia. And I'm not talking about Olivia Kendall. I'm talking about the new Olivia. Oh. That's all. No, not her neither. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I drink this Moscato? I'm talking about the uh, Empire Olivia, who turned it last week when she told Jamal, yeah, this is your daughter. I figured she'd meet you now. You know, she's been seeing you on TV and she can sing your songs. So, um, you know, Cookie talking to him like, why would you force him to get married to a, you know, to an 18-year-old and, you know, now they got a baby. He was saying something about he didn't think they had a baby. She was like, well, you got to have sex to have a baby, Lucius. Like, she went in on him, telling him about herself. And then we seen where they get inside of the Empire and um, Becky seen that, you know, something ain't right with him. Like, what is wrong? And then when they get into the office, you know, Cookie, Cookie like to keep pushing buttons like some women do. Some of y'all do. And, uh, well, and he's like, enough, Cookie. And he passes out. He passes out, they're outside, and um, you know the debutante bitch, she like, you're not his wife? Well, you're his soon-to-be ex-wife. So they getting into it. So Lucia's just laying there all fucked up. So the doctor's like, you got the pick. So he looks at her, he looks at Cookie, giving her a hard look. Then he gives it a look to his debutante. The debutante gets in there. And I just felt bad for Cookie, because, you know, she really, really cares about him, even after he left her in jail for 17 damn years. You know, I never went to go see her, not one time. Not one effing time went to go see her in prison. Yes, he did. When he took Jamal, when Jamal was a little boy. And she told Jamal he was special, he was different. Oh, yeah, you know what? They sure did. But I don't think he went back. Yeah, he probably did. He didn't go back because she, she, she felt some kind of way about that. I would, too. But I mean, at the same time, who really honestly thought he was going to pick Cookie to get in that ambulance? I mean, when he's engaged to this woman. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> nobody. But see, nobody in their right mind. You know what? But in my right mind, because I, no, because if I'm engaged to somebody and their ex is standing there and they say, "Oh, the ex is coming in," and you gonna have to find a way to get there, mm. that ambulance ain't going nowhere. But see, you know what? Even if the before the before the even the ambulance thing, see the debutante or, or, or Nika. I just call her as Boo Boo Kitty. Boo Boo Kitty. Boo. I but she got all kinds of until today. I said, Anika, who's that? Nicki Minaj? Didn't she come on the show? He said, no, it's Anika. I said, no, no, Nicki Minaj. Oh, Nika. Beyonce said, oh, Nika. That's what she said. They said, no, that's Boo Boo Kitty. I was like, yeah, Boo Boo Kitty. Are we watching the same show? The, 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 the debutante, the bougie debutante. Or whatever, you know, whatever y'all want to call her. The snake, little snake bitch. Rattle. You know, yeah, she, she, oh yeah, she rattled some uh, snakes today. That I mean, was horrible what she did today. Yes, that putting that drink yeah, that in was... Elle's drink. Well, mind you, I got so wrapped up in the show that I almost wanted to cry for Elle when she was in that bathroom. Yeah, because she didn't know what was going on. Was go and she really genuinely did not know. She was like, I don't know what's going on with me. I felt so bad for her. Mm -mm -mm. But see, that's, that's because that only happened because... Onika didn't like what Lucius had to say about um, Cookie taking over for L. Mm -hmm. Like so, she was like, "No, Cookie's in control. She's she got that handle." She's like, "Oh, I'm gonna sabotage this bitch. Yeah. I, I know what I'm doing." Yeah, and and that's exactly what she did because Cookie was in charge of L and getting her together, make sure she stayed off the drugs and everything. Y'all seen last week when she flushed the drugs down the damn toilet? She wasn't playing with her. So. Um, you know, I did feel bad for Elle Magazine. I really did. I really did feel bad for her. And um, so they, they, they do the show. The boys do the show. And, you know, Lucius comes out. He talks to them. And wait, wait. He talks to them first. And then he introduces his sons 
to the investors. They have a great performance. They it was fun. You know, I, I was trying to understand the, the TVs on the here and the microwave oven and stuff. But I was more into the song than you know the performance. And um, while they performing, Lucius, excuse me, Terrence Howard was giving a performance. Well, he's like, Who you talking to? That's that's how Lucius was. No. I wasn't talking to Bernadette that because that's your girlfriend. I was about to say. And she's not right there. <laughs> that's your girl. She's just supposed to go give me some drugs, so I don't know who you're talking to. Only I talk. I'll talk to that old person yeah, on that wall. Bad. <laughs> Bernadette is my girlfriend. So I said Terrence is Thank performing. You, Thank you, Bernadette. <laughs> I said, Lucius is performing like he's trying to win an uh, Oscar. You can't get nominated for an Oscar on TV. No, you can't. Yes. An Emmy. Yes, he can get an Emmy. And oh, they're going to get nominated. Oh, they're going to get nominated. Yeah, they better. Going up. They better. So, they better be nominated for a Golden Globe and an Emmy because you yeah. can be nominated for both. Yeah, because, you know, Anika, she tried to be she tried to be the one to go up. I uh know. -uh, this ain't about you. No, it's not. This is Family. That's right. <laughs> you're not in the circle. That's all I kept thinking about is Evelyn saying you're not in the circle. When he told her this is family. You're not in the circle. Who's what Evelyn? Evelyn. Lozada. Remember when she told uh bitch, I don't remember. It's been like three, four years no, ago. I don't know who she told that She's to. like, bitch, you're not in the circle. Who was she talking to though? That's your bank cancer. I don't know. <laughs> she told one of them girls that. Yeah. So, you know, Anika found out she's not in the circle, and she's like, I, I got the speech prepared. No. So, uh... Oh, Royce, probably. Was it Royce? Maybe it was Royce. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. So, um, um Aaliyah. What's her name? Cookie. Aaliyah. Shout out to Aaliyah. Hey, girl. So, Cookie comes out there. Now, who's... Man, the <laughs> first you're talking to her. Man, you're talking to her. Make up your mind. I can't. So, Cookie, she goes out there. She like one of me and Mikael. We don't do teleprompters, okay? We are gonna give you a speech from no, all. You don't do a teleprompter. I don't do. I don't do teleprompter. I'm gonna just start talking. Yeah, ad lib. That's what he said. Well, how the hell you? I said, bitch. It's called improvising. That's okay? right. I paid big money, big bucks. When I went to the Walnut Street Theater School, and they taught me how to fucking improvise, okay? So I didn't do very well. You don't believe me? Just watch. He said, "Well, how do you do that? How do you do that when you watch this?" Yeah. Well, I let him in. speak. Go ahead. Charm the fucking. <laughs> so, so Anika gets out. There. Not Anika. Who that? Oh. Who's that standing there listening? Somebody's standing there listening. Oh, and this is not a um, free. This Jeremy. is not a free show. Who? Thank Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm texting Jeremy. Jeremy's not here. Uh, oh Raw. my! No, close the night. Not, not right now. Not right now. Corey <laughs> Raw. Like no. Give me like two. Give me like two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> give me two minutes. Yes. <laughs> two minutes. Then you gonna say lock it. <laughs> She will open it. Yeah. Hun. <laughs> yes, she will. They'll come right in. The, the original cookie. Is okay. Yeah. Okay. The cookie, you ready to give your speech? I know. I heard somebody standing there. I know. I know. Rally on the road. <laughs> giving an amazing speech and Cookie and Lucius once they get to the house we find out Lucius tells the family that he has ALS. Hakeem goes off because Hakeem is more worried about his father mm -hmm. and he gets mad at Andre because Andre like wait a minute who Lewis. fucking knows? Yeah, yeah. Because first of all money 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 you can't be mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah so he ALS like oh, so you wanna you wanna fucking get you worrying about money when my dad and all that oh he goes off yeah, it does. And I said, oh, bitch, shut up. He's no, a little bitch. Like, no, but I understand. No. no, but I understand, but you have to understand, like, 
I need to know who know. I'm, we all found out this for the first time. And we trying to, you know, no, get no, investors, no, no, and then no, you no, up no. here dying. You know, how we going to make yeah. the money? But you know, that is a time and a place, and that was not the place to talk about that, Kevin. You don't talk about money and investors when you just found out well, you know, you, as a serious But business. you know that the brother ain't right in the head, but at least no, he's not, not, no, he's he's not, not right in the head. But that don't 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 excuse that as all oh, you know, because you don't that's not the time and place to talk about that. If somebody comes to you and say, I have cancer and I got two weeks to live, and, and Nina says, Why well, your mom's saying that, well who's gonna pay for this? You gonna be like, Nina, not the fuck up. That's not because you know you're gonna go off and Nina says something like but that. But I'm talking about Andre because his mind is not right. You know, <laughs> his mind is on that money, just like his mother. It's going <laughs> But you better have what I had on Fox 29. And I'm glad you ain't been the fucking scrubs out there, bitch. She said, come as you are. No, he gonna tell me. He gonna tell me. Bitch, you better not come with them scrubs. But she said, come in. She's like, no, I wasn't coming to scrubs. But yeah, so. So after he tells them, you know, Andre goes off and go takes the ice bucket challenge in the shower. But I really felt. Bad for him. I felt so bad for him. Because he snapped on his wife. But you know, she's one of those girls like, I already know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, Lucius. And through hell. Yes, Lucius, I'm sorry. I gotta go. <laughs> Before he to my yeah. Ass. So, you know, Lucius tells the boys, y'all got to go. So, you know, they talking. He tell them, could be. Don't ruin this moment. moment. Don't ruin this moment. Just enjoy yourself. Let's, let's let it progress. So, next thing you know, you know I was typing, yes, bitch, we getting that nasty, dirty sex scene I've been waiting for. So, we finally got it. I mean, they got it in. They did. And then the debutante, then the debutante walks in. You got it. Corey, she sleep? No, she, bitch, <laughs> no, she went downstairs. Oh. I told her she could come in. No, you didn't. You told her to go. And I, I said, it. wait two minutes. I heard her walking down the steps. You know two minutes is like five minutes when you deal with us. Well. Well, W time. Oh. So anyway, the W time walks in. She sees them having sex, and she's over it. And then next week, you know, we see all the pre- I don't know what's going to happen next week. But we see all these different previews. But I'm like, if all of this is going on, you know I ain't missing it. I ain't missing the goddamn thing. But I did not feel sorry. For Nika at all. No, I didn't after what she did to Elle. I didn't feel sorry for her at all. Like, but she's a so snake, yeah, period. She's sneaky. I can see her messing with one of the sons. Andre. I didn't see her sleeping with Andre. I don't see it. No, I'm just saying I could see her character being that low down and doing that. Just to get back at Lucius. I could. Because Andre's not right in the head. Well, I mean, he has been cheating on his wife already. And she said, fuck me like you fucked her. What's her name? Like, no, fuck. Call me her name. Call, fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck me. Fuck me like you fucked the deputy mayor. Oh, yeah. She said, and call, 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 call me her call name. Me, call me what you call the deputy mayor. <laughs> Why would you want me to call you that? Because she's a woman that knows he's about to get this fucking money. Yeah. And I ain't going nowhere. Okay. <laughs> no. Where? As a matter of fact, I'm about to order me some new stuff. <laughs> money I don't even have, but I know it's coming. Yes. Because <laughs> they got, they, 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 I don't know if that investor going to sign up. He's talking about, you know, I don't, I don't do with music like that. Oh, but you be going to get your money today. I mean, that's okay. what we're going to do. Yeah, we are. So, today it was announced that Iggy Azalea, well, last night, <laughs> Iggy Azalea, cause a quitting Twitter. I mean, we done talked about so many celebrities quitting Twitter and social media and stuff. You know what, Iggy? I do feel kind of bad for you because people have been coming down on you for, you know, for a couple months and they say you're not black. You try to act black. You try to sound black. And, you know, I, I think the best thing to do is do you. Because when Eminem came on the scene, Eminem ain't try to sound black. Eminem was himself. And you ain't never seen nobody talk about, oh, Eminem trying to be black. No. The only thing you might get mad about is they, oh, Eminem coming for gays, Eminem coming for this people, Eminem coming for that people. But Eminem was always Eminem, he was true to himself. And that's what you need to be, you need to be true to yourself. Don't come here talking about, this how I, this is how I talk and everything, you love our culture, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine, but just be yourself. That's the main thing. And another thing is, you have to get thick skin, because people are going to talk about you all the time. And I know from experience, like, you know me, I was quick to curse a bitch out. Now, 
I do my calendar. I just block them. I don't got time. They go back and forth. For what? For what? When the person was tweeting us this morning, I seen your tweet, but I ain't going to give you that life that I seen it by replying. Are you kidding me? No. Nah. But Iggy, like, you know. You'll be back in like a month or so. Everybody comes back. Everybody. But what you need is apparently the School of Matthew Knows Media Training. Because, you know how many people talk about Beyonce and how many times Beyonce has ever replied to what's been said about her? Do you think? Not even in an interview. I don't think she ever replies to it, that. And why? Because she has a little of your vote. When you're at the top of the game, bitch, people are going to try to knock you off the fucking throne, bitch. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. When you ascend, people will try to make you descend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, man. The devil is always at work, and you can't give him that much power. Okay. And even if you affect it, you don't let a bitch know. You don't never let a bitch see you sweat. You let my joke. She let one of my jokes about her get to her. And I'm just like, oh, my God. She, she dresses herself as a white chick for Halloween. It was a fucking joke. You getting taken offense to it. And then she blocked me. I'm like, oh, my God. And mind you, I never tweeted her. Somebody added her in the tweet, and she gets mad. Like... You got to stop responding to any and everything. You can't fight all of your battles. Some battles are not meant for you to fight. Okay? That's what she should do what Beyonce does. Hire her publicist and let them, because that's what they get paid for, right? Yeah. But she, the publicist don't even have to reply to them saying, oh, no, you're trying to be not right. at all. But I'm just saying, like, you know, instead of her replying to any of them, if it does need to be replied to, whether whatever it is, if it does, then let somebody else do it. Yeah, I mean, especially with the sex tape allegations and that man mm -hmm. saying that, you know, she's my wife, and yeah, I got he, video. Did he pay, didn't he say he paid her or something to be his wife or something? Because she was young at the time. I can't remember what. I don't remember. But I know she was supposed to be young. Yeah, and, and she was supposed to be his wife, and they got proof, and he want some of that money because he's saying that we're still married. So now that we're still married. But he hasn't even shown the proof yet. I don't know what he's showing. But he's, he's a grown-ass man. Stop trying to... <laughs> He's a grown ass man. I really feel some kind of way about that. You're a grown ass man. Stop trying to live off her and her fortune and her empire. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I tried it. Her empire. She, I mean, she had a little cute song. She ain't topped that song yet, though. So, hmm. bye, Iggy. <laughs> Monique! Ooh! Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. So, Monique! The freak. It's the fame. <laughs> <laughs> so we you know five years ago, Monique won an Oscar for Precious. Yes, she did. I forgot her name. Miss Mary. What's her name? Mary. Precious Mom. Mary. <laughs> Mary Jones. Come on, give me a little Precious. Come on. I, I know did it on Instagram. I seen that. Play it. <laughs> no. Wait, no, I don't think it's gonna play. It was good too. <laughs> you got a tap for saying. No, I don't. I got a tap. You got tap for saying. They sacrificed. Okay. Precious. Precious. Precious, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. Go, go make us something to eat. Oh, <laughs> you know what? When you first watch that movie, it's not funny. Says who? <laughs> I'm not the Precious movie. is not fucking. And Amber, I went to the movies to go see it with Amber, and the whole time we was in the movie theater, Amber kept telling me, what are you laughing at? I said, Amber, you don't, this is hilarious. Amber didn't find it funny, and she was getting mad at me because I was laughing. No. No, you know what? It's not, the story's not funny, but the way it was coming out and how stupid Precious was standing and looking every time my mom said something to her. It's like, oh my God, this girl's sitting there looking so stupid. And what she tell Precious? Precious, come make mommy feel good. That was, that was, that was, I didn't laugh at that part. I didn't say I laughed at that part. That was nasty. She was like, she, she was like, come like, make a No, fun. she was like, thank you. I told you to take your ass down to the welfare. She's like, right now? No, you dumb bitch. <laughs> then what she said? Then she told her, come make mama feel good. No, that was way well, after. She said that part, though. Yes. Yeah. But that's not funny. That's not funny. Don't, 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 no, I'm not coming to make mommy feel nothing. 
Mommy better take her two fingers. <laughs> and get a deal down. And hey, candy coat at night. <laughs> So Monique did an interview with uh, the Hollywood Reporter, and she said, it took "Can I read it? Oh yeah, because I, I mean, well, I feel some kind of way I, that she didn't get a clue." Go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. I wanted to hear what you had to say. Okay, so apparently, the February twenty seventh edition of the Hollywood Reporter, Monique pens an essay where she explains how Lee Daniels revealed to her that she has been blackballed, noting that an Oscar win normally does lead to more respect choices and money in the business. Monique writes, but I got a phone call from Lee Daniels and he said to me, Monique, you've been blackballed. I said, why? And he said, because you didn't play the game. I said, well, what game is that? Uh, he gave me no responses. Now, if y'all remember, this is Funky Daniva, because this is where I'm, um, I'm getting it from Funky Daniva site. Um, Funky Dineva says, now if you remember, Oprah, Lee Daniels, and Tyler Perry were all feeling some kind of way towards Monique during the time um, when Precious, when the actors from Precious were doing yeah, their press release. To go to the stuff. Um, Monique apparently refused to do press junkets, and which I find, it's crazy because I honestly didn't know that until now. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that she oh, yeah. refused she, to do it. Oh, she wanted to get paid for that. Yeah, and, which is which is really even more crazy because Precious came out in what, 2009? Nine. And this was 2015 and this was the first time I heard about that. And Oprah Tyler and Lee Daniels felt some type of way because they said, well, you know, this is a film that all actors, including you, Monique, you should be out there promoting. This is, But Monique felt as though, no, I don't want to promote and if I do promote, I want to get paid to promote. Pause. The last time I checked, and for those of you that don't really know the, the industry the way it is, you don't get paid to promote your stuff. Your the promotion is your promotion. That's where the coins gonna come from. When you promote and the people see you, that's how you're gonna get your coins. Mm -hmm. But people don't pay you to promote your stuff. I mean it's just you know, it's mm -hmm. just ludicrous. Like why would I pay you to come on my show to promote your stuff? Mm -hmm. What am I gonna get out of that? I'm not really getting nothing except for you being on the show. But then again, there should be a 50-50. 50-50 is, come, stick your hand out, bitch. 50-50 uh, well, is, you come on my show, and this is exposure for me because I got this big Hollywood star on my show, and then right. you being on my show is helping the people out there promoting yourself so they can come and see Why your brand. You so wet? Because it's hot in here, bitch. I just told you I'm sweating, and I don't sweat. And I'm sweating in here. But anyway, Monique, I just feel as though that wasn't really... What, what happened? Somebody sent me a message. All the way from the UK. What? Look, look that's at that. That's what I'm I know. I ain't mad, but go ahead. Yeah. Keep going. So, Monique, I think it's very silly of you to 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 act surprised that you were blackballed from Hollywood. This is not a new thing with people being blackballed. And you of all people, you should know that. But not only that, this is something what I'm about to say. I heard of this a few years ago, but I don't really pay attention to, you know, I just don't. But apparently, Monique is known for having a really nasty attitude. Yeah. And many people have said she's had a nasty attitude on her show that was once That's why I got canceled. That she just had a nasty attitude all around. And you know what? I can kind of see that from Monique because, you know, she seems like someone who's just like, you know. But Monique, baby, <laughs> let me tell you something, honey. Okay? <laughs> you won that Oscar and then you disappeared. You should have let, you when you won that Oscar, that should have immediately humbled you. And you should have said, you know what, I can't take nothing for granted because white Hollywood don't give black actors like me Oscars every day. That should have humbled you to the point where you wanted to lose, where you should have lost that attitude and made sure that the next time a big role came around that you would, you didn't even have to audition, that they was just going to give it to you. But no, nobody's not even talking about Monique anymore. As a matter of fact, people are saying, well, damn, whatever happened to her? And you just won an Oscar not too long ago and already people are asking what happened to you. Like, that's not good at all. And you're shocked that Lee Daniels told you you were blackballed? Are you really shocked, Monique? Oh, I think she knew. She of course knew. she knew. She should have, along with the way she was losing, the attitude should have went with it. Okay. Now, this is my thing. The game. Y'all know I love my wrestling. I love my theme songs. Mm -hmm. Triple H theme. It starts out, it's time to play the game. Mm -hmm. Time to play the game! Mm -hmm. It's all about the game and how you fucking play it. You already know Hollywood and how Hollywood go. 
Now, if I'm paying you all this money to be in my movie, I don't know how much was the budget. But anyway, yeah. if this movie is getting fucking Oscar buzz and everybody's talking about your performance, not even just your performance, they're talking about Gabby Ray Sidibe's performance mm -hmm. too, why would you expect to get paid? <laughs> to go on an interview. To, to go on an interview to promote. Oh, am I getting paid to come to this film festival? If I'm getting yeah. paid to go to that one. Am I getting paid to sit here and talk to people all around? You know how they do when they yeah. want the news and stuff. But you don't get like, paid. Like, come on now, you promoting your fucking work. Right, you don't get paid for that. And nobody wants to work around someone with a nasty ass attitude, ex Catherine Heigl, <laughs> and how they got her ass together. And she had to humble her fucking self, okay? Come on, you were on a top fucking show. And then what happened? You fell because you let people pump you up. You, you, yes. About, yes. you know, you let people pump you up and all of that shit, and you thought you was better than everybody. And then sometimes somebody would stick that foot out and trip you and make you fall, bitch. And you ain't up where you're supposed to be. Okay. And Monique, I just want you to know, I love your work. I always love your work, and I love your stand-up and everything. But if you did have a nasty attitude, and if you still have that nasty attitude, I suggest you lose it. Because you lost your show. You lost out on roles to Oprah fucking Winfrey, though. Okay. Okay? Oprah? I mean, Oprah could just throw her money out, but she said, oh, no, bitch, I'm going to act. I'm going to play your part. I think she did it as a lesson to And you. then they said, but they said, they mentioned uh, Two roles. Empire and the Butler. And you know what, Lee? Then you said, oh, no, bitch, I'm playing this Hollywood game. He said, I, I don't make movies for them. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. If, mm -hmm. Hollywood, if I don't have to put you in my, if I put you in myself and get blackballed, oh, no, I'm not doing that. So, hey, so and what, I what you did? Him. Do you blame him? Hell no. Hell no. Okay, that's that's losing out on, you see, I'm not going to lose out on money because of Monique's attitude. If you want to keep that nasty attitude, you keep it right the hell over there with them hairy ass legs. But see, me and the rest of us, we're going to do what we're going to do over here. And we're going to make this money. Because let me tell you something. For almost 30 years, no, more than 30 years, Oprah's been knowing how to make that money. Okay? <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm like Nene. You playing for the wrong team. Yeah. This team I'm going to play for, Monique's team or Oprah's team? <laughs> I don't even think about that. <laughs> you have to think. No, you have to think. I'm going straight with Oprah. As soon as I heard oh. All right, I'm right there. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oprah. Oh, 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 that's Oprah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're damn right. I'm going straight with Oprah. Apparently, the mom, apparently in the butler, she was, she was. Oh, you play the piano. Yeah. yeah, supposed to be. I can see it. Because you know what? I can what? see it too. I can also Lee. see her in Selma playing Oprah, the one that Oprah played. Yeah. Right? Whatever her name was. Because Lee Daniels put everybody, everybody that's been in this stuff, they're all, are always there. Mm -hmm. And I kept wondering, where's my name? Mm -hmm. You always hear Cuba Gooden Jr. in mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, where is he? You, you see Lenny, you'll see a Mariah or something. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen them on, I'm about to say Precious, I haven't seen them in Empire yet, but them workers get around. Right. You see Gabby in the right. And look at yeah. you absolutely right. Yep, yeah. Gabby Sidibe, yep. Yeah, he don't play. He don't and play. not only that, but Gabby Ray Sidibe is in every episode, to be honest with you. She don't have a big role, yeah. but I mean, she her role is big yeah. enough that you know who she is. That's right. You know what I mean? No, well, I mean, like, you, never mind. No, but I'm saying, her role, Gabby Ray Sidibe's role is big. I know you, you're throwing shade. Gabby Ray Sidibe, yeah, <laughs> stop it. Gabby Ray Sidibe's role is big because you was once that side. Gabby Ray <laughs> <laughs> And now you are. Hey, bro. <laughs> And I look good to the future. <laughs> Gabby said it, man. Rock forget it, because you try again. And you yeah. try again. Okay, well, bitch, don't try again. Well, look, she you right. on the show one day. And she's going and she to. she tried to read you like Brandy tried to read me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Brandy. I'm yeah. going to say, you know, go to my couch and do the interview. You all right? <laughs> I'm recording anyway. Right. I know that's right. <laughs> okay. But anyway, like I was saying, okay? Uh, what was I saying, bitch? Yeah, Gabby yeah, Ray she's, she's a very important yeah. role. But Monique, you should not have been or act surprised like you ain't know that you was blackballed and you ain't know what game it was that you didn't play along with. You should have known right after the Oscars because usually people who win Oscars, you see them in about two or three movies after they win an Oscar. Mm -hmm. And we ain't seen you in nothing since Precious, right? Yeah, I mean, I was wondering what was going on. I know she's in this, this movie, Blackbird. I with, want to see yeah, that. Yeah, I, I want to see it too, and it looks like it's going to be yeah, good. Yeah, I, I mean, want to see it. Come on, Monique. That looks, you know, I, come on, Monique. Like, yeah, seriously. but you know what, though? For for uh, Patrick M. Polk, who is the creator of Noah's Ark, to have Monique, you got to film an Oscar winner in yeah. your movie. But the thing is, though, when Monique, and then this is like a year ago, Monique and Isaiah Washington, mm -hmm. they were still trying to get people to back the film. I knew something wasn't right. Because I'm like, you got an Oscar winner, and you have to... But you also got to remember, but you also got to remember, too. 
And this is no shade to Patrick Ian Paul. No shade at all. Because I definitely want to see the movie. But you also got to remember, Monique is in this movie. One of the reasons why she's in this movie because she couldn't get no other big roles. And I'm not saying that this role isn't big, but she couldn't get no other roles. And then look at Isaiah Washington. He too was blackballed when he made those homophobic comments a few years ago. And they fired him from Grey's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, you got two people... In the in the top roles that were blackballed. But how long can they be blackballed? And then, see, you know, you know, you know what, what I want to say. What's that girl on um, Hollywood Divas? Child, you want to talk about being blackballed, but I ain't seen no proof. Now them. Oh, uh, yeah. Paula J. Yeah, Parker. Paula J. Parker. You know, now they got proof. You, I don't see your proof. Well, you know what? That's a good question. How long can you be blackballed? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I have the answer. As long as White Hollywood wants to blackball you, you can be blackballed. Because at the end of the day, it's White Hollywood. That's making sure that these movies are being seen or not being seen. I mean, seen at the end of the day. And we all know that. That's why we're always complaining about how white Hollywood doesn't allow us to do this. And white Hollywood doesn't allow us to do that. Instead of us getting up like Tyler Perry did. Shout out to Tyler Perry. Instead of us getting up and doing our own damn thing. How he created his own production company and said, bitch, the hell with white Hollywood. I'm going to do it my damn way. And I'm going to show you that it can be done. Yeah, but you got to get that Tyler pa Perry money first. Yeah, but, but hey, but look what, but see, the, the the thing is, Tyler, Pe Tyler Perry didn't even have that Tyler Perry money. He started from the bottom. Literally. Shout out to Drake. He started from the bottom. Okay? He started from the bottom when he was living in his damn car. Yeah, he was homeless. Yeah, hello? Hello? So, you know, from you, stage you, place he had to, to start somewhere. Swing, to get in your own studio, to make a fucking TV show. Oh, my God, yeah. Here we go. I watched that movie. First of all, when I, saw, when I saw that Isaiah Washington was in this movie, I said, oh, my God, because... I ain't seen nothing from Isaiah Washington yeah. since Grey's Anatomy, and then before that, Crooklyn. But you know what, though? They Remember will try to hold Crooklyn us down longer, but neighbor. you know. What's the neighbor's name? Uh, I don't something know. my man. Rick, was it Rick? Y'all know what I'm talking about on Crooklyn when he played their neighbor, the neighbor with the Puerto Rican know. girlfriend, and, and he had, um, he yeah. punched the other neighbor in the face because the other neighbor was saying all this stuff. Yeah, that was my Do movie. you know that we've been almost recording for an hour, and we only had three topics? Four topics. So, well, what's the next good one? I want to talk about Toya Williams. Toya Williams. <laughs> Toya being on Wendy Williams. Toya Wright. Yes, Toya Wright. From two days, two days ago, she was on Wendy Williams show, and Reginae was on there. So basically, they talked about what was going on with her in Memphis, mm -hmm. and she was saying that she really wants to stay in her marriage. She was saying that she wants to stay there because she. You know, you don't just marry people to get a divorce. Right. You go through all right. everything. Right. Right. But she understands why he feels the way he do. Because so he's you divorced from her. No, they're not divorced. Oh. Like she didn't file or anything. The problem is he doesn't like being in her shadow. He doesn't like being married to Little Wayne's wife. And he had a name before, you know, he got Toya right. thing came along. And then she also talked about Kevin. First of all, what I loved about Toya. And she wasn't afraid to say Kim Michelle. She didn't say some other girl. Mm -hmm. She was saying Kim Michelle as in the artist who Memphis worked with and everything. Mm -hmm. But um, Wendy did tongue tie her a little bit when she was talking about the stuff that what Kim Michelle went through. Mm -hmm. You know, Toya got a little tongue tied. Like, mm -hmm. but because I I do believe it. I do believe her. I, who Kim Michelle? Right? Yeah, yeah, I believe, I too. believe it. Like, it, it, so you gotta be real crazy to make up a lie like that. Yeah. And there are some crazy people who make up lies like that, but to make up a lie like that and just continue to go on and on and on about that, and you're like, what is going, you know, and it's like, I'm not really gaining nothing from me telling you that this man beat on me. Yeah. And then why would I say somebody beat on me if they didn't beat on me? And you know what, Memphis is not fucking stupid, okay? He know, see, the man that Toya might know, he might have grown and become a different person. Mm -hmm. But I know you can't say that's not the man. I, I know she can say that. that's not the man I know. Mm -hmm. Of course not. Because he may not beat on you. Because he might not beat on you. And if he did, bitch, he's dead. Okay, all the men, you know, come on now. He's not that crazy. But she really wanted to work on the relationship. And I, I just love the interview. And then Regine came on. Let me tell you, for a girl that's 16 years old, she is media trained down. Mm -hmm. She did not let Wendy mm -hmm. win on nothing, okay? Mm -hmm. What, what, what was going on with my dad is, well, loyalty is everything. I'm going with my dad. Mm -hmm. That's my dad. That's my step, you know, not my stepfather, but that's my godfather. And I pray that they can work this out. Mm -hmm. I want to make music too, but I can't make music because what's going on with them. with them. So I'm in limbo like everybody else. Like, that girl is fucking smart. Like I said, yes. She's totally a beautiful cool. girl too. Yes. And, oh, my God. She like, takes after her mom very well because they're both very pretty girls okay. or women. Well, she's a, well, girl, she's a girl. mother. Yes. Like, Toya is fucking... 
I rem I'll tell you, I remember, see, it was something y'all never seen before, I, I don't think I ever talked about this. One time we did um, Braxton Family Values, and this was Tawanda's birthday. I was on the show, mm -hmm. but when nobody's, I don't know how the camera does it, but Toya was sitting right next to me, mm -hmm. and she wasn't even on the fucking show. I never understood how they didn't sh air they her. didn't show her air, and I'm like, well, damn, this camera is good. Like, and I was I was just talking to her. I was like, you are so beautiful, she is so beautiful in person. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was something in the contract where she just didn't want to be on the show. Like, she didn't want to be shown on the mm -hmm. show. You know what I mean? Because I don't think they because. Tamar is good friend. Yeah, there. that's her. So good I don't think it was any shade. Yeah. She probably just ain't want to be aired on the show. Yeah. She probably just wanted to be there for the party and don't put me on the show. Yeah, and Toya also said that the same thing happened in Memphis on the And then on top of that, I'm sorry to cut you off, but wasn't this wasn't this around the time when she was on the show when they was she was still doing her own show on a different network? Maybe, yeah. maybe that's probably yes. why. But um, um, what I was saying before you come here. Okay, oh yeah, Me yeah, I care. <laughs> Memphis, Memphis had got cut off. He was, he, she was there like through the entire taping of the Sweet Sixteen, mm -hmm. and they magically edited him out of the scenes and stuff. And Toya felt some kind of way. She said, "I don't care what we're going through. That man is there for my daughter, mm -hmm. and that's just not right." So she defended him and everything. Oh wait, so they already aired the Sweet Sixteen? It came on on Monday, and, she, and they didn't know that he was edited out. No, Ooh, that's bad. That's shady. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Probably because Lil Wayne was there and everything. I don't know. Yeah, but like I, I agree with Toya. That's my husband, and my husband is there for my daughter. And why would you not show him? Yeah. And you know, Wendy tried to ask the questions like, um, "Do you think buying your daughter these cars is too much?" Fuck. No. You know what? If you got the money and that's your child, and you think that they earned it and deserved it, give it to them. Okay. That's that's how I feel about it. If they earn it and deserve it, give it to them. And you got the money to pay for it? Don't worry about what another bitch got to say. I'm glad Toya ain't even addressed that. Like, on social media, like Iggy Azalea probably would. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's my fucking child. She's the best. I'm going to give her the best. It's okay. So shout out to Toya because it was a great interview. Um, Tiger on the Breakfast Club. Now, first of all, after we were finished recording, Amber Rose went in again on Chloe Kardashian, calling her O.J. Simpson's daughter yes. because we really don't know who Chloe's father is. I don't know if Robert Kardashian is her real father. We don't know that. But, of course, they're going to say that he is her real father. But when you do look at Courtney and you look at um, Kim and, the, well, I know Kylie and uh, Kendall, but they're not because their dad is different. But... You don't really see the resemblance like you do with Kim and Courtney. No, they all got the same mom. Talking about the same dad. No, the same mom. <laughs> Watch my head again. And that one won't go over my head, bitch. So you can get me when I'm sober, but you can't get me when I'm drunk, bitch. I ain't that stupid when I'm so, so drunk. Honey. Man, <laughs> I ain't that stupid. I know that's, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go ahead. But yeah, so... She goes in. Amber Rose, basically, she nailed, put the final nail in the coffin on Monday night. But I'm that wrong. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about Monday Night Raw? What I know about Monday Night Raw? <laughs> well, that's my wrestling show every Monday night. That's oh, my wrestling. Soap, that's my soap opera. Not like you're doing some other Monday Night Raws <laughs> no, that you shouldn't be doing. I didn't know you were talking about wrestling. Hey, I could talk about wrestling. I am going to do a wrestling video next week. Yeah, please, but not with me. I'm not going to do it with you, but it's going to be up at the same day as you. Oh, it's our video. Because I'm going to do a video talking about my one year being a subscriber to the WWE Network. I know, that's right. Because, bitch, you ain't going to... I want my I want my coins, and I want them to recognize that they can be doing a whole lot better than what they're doing. I know, and that's And I'm going to tell them how, and then I'm going to say, hire me. But, <laughs> bitch, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get off YouTube. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you trying to do? TV? <laughs> to do what? Talk. <laughs> and get paid more. How you know? We can all use a couple of extra coins. And all. Okay. <laughs> Gas is going back up. Yeah. Somebody got to look and say, oh, you let WeTV pay you. Bitch, are you kidding me? No. Why you know would you let WeTV pay you? Do you know how many um, websites that you go to get paid for advertisements? Are you kidding me? Right. And you get mad with commercials coming on the channel. We got to pay our bills on that. Somebody, somebody said, and you let WeTV pay you. Yeah. yeah. And like, are they asking or telling? Telling. And like, in a bad way, like, why? Excuse you. Why not? And I'll ask you going to pay us some money. They came to us. Yes. 
And if I promote anybody that comes with promotion, you do anything promoting, you gotta pay. Commercials don't come on TV for for free. Okay? <laughs> and the damn show don't come on this channel for free. Hell no. <laughs> come at a price. <laughs> you, you letting them pay you. Hell right. All that money we TV's making, are you kidding me? <laughs> they got the Braxons on there. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> hey. And there's nothing but to that. <laughs> so Beyonce. No, let's go to Andre. Man, fuck, really, I don't care about the type of situation. Let me tell you this. You know you fucking up. Then you want to ask them, well, what's the statute of limitations in New York? Oh, he tried. He tried. He tried. That's just like what OJ said. Well, if I killed you. Yeah. If I did it. This is how <laughs> if I, would I did it, this is how I would do it. This, this is the mother of your kids, and you want to say, if I killed you, this is how I would do it. Sometimes I think I was born <laughs> on a different planet and I just got transported to Earth with you nincompoops. Because the stuff that people say, if I killed her, this is how this I would do it. If I fire Mikkel, this is how I would do it. Right, like what the fuck? <laughs> wow, OJ's. Yeah. So, Tiger, that was yes. a dumb statement yes. to make. <laughs> and he, of course, he of course you're going to deny it, Tiger. Right. The money, yeah, and this is my question. This is my wife question. Ain't playing with right, you. because this is my thing. When guys, not just Tiger, but when guys are four old and they seem with different women all the, when they seem with this one woman all the time, and I'm thinking to myself, well, you can't possibly have no chick at home because I would never allow my man to be out with a woman like that all the time. Just like years ago when Jay-Z and Beyonce used to deny that they were together, even though we kind of knew they were, but some of us still didn't believe it. And, but we used to always see them together, but like not always together, but like together. And, they, and I'd be saying to myself... Once I started to believe it, I'm like, well, they need to stop lying about this because if Jay-Z got a woman, I would be mad as shit that my man is always with Beyonce, and if she got a man, I'd be mad as shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, Tiger, are you serious? You're with her. We all know it. Nobody's not stupid but you mm -hmm. and her. And well, he, no, and, you. And you know what? He don't, he, he don't have a high school diploma either. No, he don't have no high school diploma. And I think I said in our last video, mm -hmm. he got no damn high school diploma. <laughs> a high school diploma, he don't have a diploma. I can't hit my head back on the thing I wanted to. So no, he don't have nothing. Almost broke my damn. Uh, a diploma? He don't have a high school. <laughs> get it no, together. He I don't think we can get it together. Net. Um. So yeah. So buy a tiger and then. Yeah, that was stupid. You know, I, I'm totally a tiger. <laughs> so that was your boo though at one point. Remember? He was very nice to him, but his neck was so long. But now he his face got. I think he, he looked good. Yeah, I think he. I think he. I think he looks better now than what he did with a few years ago when he was skinny. Because with, but when he was skinny, that was just like, oh, he just looks sick. But now he got that grown man weight, like when Chris Brown had that grown man weight, and he lost a little bit of it, but he still got some of that grown man grown man weight. It looks. It looks good on Tiger. It really does. Those Kardashians defeat him well. Well, yeah, but especially Kylie. I just, I'm just shocked that he went from a body like Black China to a body like Kylie. Money rules the world. It does. But it say cash rules everything around me. Green, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Chris Jenner ain't a dumb bitch. Chris Jenner can make anybody famous. Okay. I need to meet her. Well, fuck her. Can you? <laughs> can she make it rise? I don't know. I don't know. She crying. <laughs> She, 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 money. She, she been sleeping with another woman. What they say? A dollar make me holler. <laughs> she been sleeping with another woman for almost damn 30 years. <laughs> if she can make her ride. She got two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got two kids, mama? Could have been artificial in the 70s. You never know. Hey, the something was rising in that bed. Listen. Wasn't it, that it, There's a such thing as deals being made hey, in Hollywood. Hey. Cause you can't tell me Chris ain't none of that people. I won't tell if you won't tell <laughs> nowadays. Hey, you I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna tell. Listen! You ain't even gonna say it. You ain't even gotta say to me, I won't tell if you you damn right you won't tell because I ain't gonna never Let tell. Let me tell you, it's a lot of deals out there where they get together, have them babies separate, and then they still go back to their lifestyle and never come out. Let me tell you, you something. Don't know there's who? a lot of secrets that go yeah. to people's graves with them. Yes. Can you imagine how many funerals you can go to and see somebody laying in their casket and say to yourself, I wonder what type of shit that they got on people that they never told about? Not yet. I haven't been to I that many funerals. And I look at certain people, especially a lot of old people, because you know a lot of old people got a lot of stuff yes. that they know about, especially they they, 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 that they take to the grave. Because the old school took shit to their grave. Mm -hmm. You know? And some people... Yeah. Some, some, some people like do before they die, they like to tell their little dirty secret and yeah. they pass away. They pass but see, away. some of them, God get them so good because they get the, 
he make them think they're going to die, right? <laughs> and then they <laughs> and tell then the truth, did. and then they stay alive. Uh -huh. For and another then, day or two. And then you're going to, no, no, bitch, then you get locked up and go to jail. Yeah, well. For stuff you tried to admit, yeah. and think you was going to die. Oh, no, and then you get better. You got gotcha. you. Yeah, well. But at least it's a clear conscience. You got it off your head. Yeah. I, I can't picture it. For me, I'm not the kind of person that can live with a whole bunch of secrets. Mm -hmm. And mm -mm, no. When I was 16, they asked me, yes, yes. Thank you. Because I'm, that ain't something I'm trying to keep sweeping and hot on. No. And this, you know, for me, it's been great. My aunt told me, because my aunt is, one of my aunts is best friends with my pastor sister, Gracious. Mm -hmm. They're best friends. And my aunt told me, because um, at one point they had like a falling out, but it wasn't like a, a nasty falling out. It was simply because when my aunt had left our church, and you know, it was like a big thing with the church situation. And they had stopped speaking for a while. But my aunt had told me one day, she was like, you know what? After we, she had said, after she and I had stopped speaking for so long, she said, I realized, you know, I knew that was my best friend. She was like, but it hurt me because everybody needs that one person that you can tell any and everything to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That, that one person that you know, no matter what you tell them, it ain't going to get out to nobody. nobody. And mm -hmm. she was like, that's the person for me. You know, that's how we are. And so you, you're right. You know, a lot of us can't take a lot of shit to our grave because of the fact that we do have that one person that we tell that we know. It ain't going to never get back out to nobody mm -hmm. because y'all have that relationship like that. But then some people don't have that friendship with yeah. people because friends nowadays are hard to come by. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you now, once you got that good good friend, right. I, I keep telling you, with me and Brandon, it's that no judgment zone. We know shit and it's fine. And, I, and my mom talked about this on one of her videos of one of my cousins that passed and I feel bad just thinking about it because I know how close they were like, them two, they would just tell each other stuff, say how they felt about everything. Who, your mom so, and your cousin? Yeah, and sometimes I feel bad because she's not here. Mm -hmm. So who knows what my mom going to take now. Right. You know, but, you know, I, it, it is good to have someone that you can talk to and vent to. You know, so yeah. So if you have that one friend, I say keep that keep that good friend. Because I had mine for 14 years, just about. So I think for, I don't remember. It's been so fucking long. It's been, it's in the teens now. Just know that. So, yeah. So, Beyonce picture. You know, shout out to Jennifer. Because me and Jennifer were sitting there. I don't know if it made the TV. But, um. It did. Because I saw it while we were sitting oh, there. Oh, wow. I did. What, two y'all talking about? About, about Beyonce picture? Yeah. Y'all talking about it? No, yeah. that didn't make it to TV. Oh, because she was asking me, you know. No, but I'm saying like, they did show a segment with her picture. But that didn't. Y'all talking about that. Oh, yeah. I seen it on the, yeah. on the screen. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, I said, Jennifer, people, people uh, touch our stuff all the time. So, I'm not worried about that. But this is my thing. We know how Beyonce look without makeup. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen her face look like that. Right. And even if she did get a pimp or two, who the fuck cares? Do you know how much money that woman is worth? Or not, not even that. Do you know how many people get pimples on a daily basis? Whether you rich as Beyonce or as poor as Beyonce. But I agree with you. We all have seen... Beyonce is one of those celebrities that you can... Well, for, actually, to be honest with you, a lot of celebrities, not just Beyonce, but a lot of celebrity women nowadays have been photographed without makeup, whether they're walking down the street, mm -hmm. they're in the airport, you know, off guard somewhere. And to be quite honest with you, I've never really seen, not just Beyonce, but I've never really seen a big celebrity and Beyonce status look like that. Like, that was just so silly. And the way people were sending me those pictures, and I'm like, y'all honestly believe that this is real. Mm -hmm. But even if it was real... Who puts out an ad campaign with a pimple on the face? Nobody. Oh, Beyonce's good. Bitch, that's just to get y'all talking. But, but I said, hey, yes. but but that's what I said. Isn't it funny how these pictures leak right after her Grammy performance and the Stevie Wonder yeah. performance? Wow. Mind you, is she still getting divorced? Oh. What, what time is it? <laughs> 7.46. You see how they forgot that that fast? Yeah. After the tour, they get a divorce. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, well, you know it's not well, nothing to talk well, you know, about. Well, no, she's pregnant too. But you know when she's not pregnant, you. she's pregnant. <laughs> and when she is pregnant, she's not pregnant. Well, <laughs> so it's like. But shout out to Beyonce. Yeah. Shout out to her because I would. I know one thing. I would love to be in her shoes some days, but other days no, I would no. hate to be her shoes. No, you don't. Remember when Michelle told us that day? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Michelle. I'm mm -hmm. glad. Michelle kept it real. Michelle, Michelle could walk in Times yeah. Square and not get bothered. That's what Michelle told. She yeah. said, "You know what." I love Beyonce to death. She said, but I would not want to be in Beyonce's shoes when it comes to fame because there's some things that Michelle can do that Beyonce can't do. Mm -hmm. And Beyonce gets ridicule, ridiculed ridicule. 
way more than Kelly and Michelle. You know what I mean? And who wants to wake up every day knowing that these blog sites are saying nasty stuff about you that may or may not be true? Mm -hmm. Who wants your family's personal business out on the websites every day like that? But Beyonce is the only one that has to go through that in that group. But that's the price of fame. Mm -hmm. That's the price of fame. Like what you say with Iggy, the higher you get, mm -hmm. the more they try to pull you down. Yeah. And like he said, the devil's working every day. The mm -hmm. devil does not sleep, okay? I mean, it's other stuff that... It, if you want to speculate, keep speculating about the pregnancy and keep speculating about this Jay Z and Beyonce drink. Right, no, that's what they should be. That's what you should speculate about. Right. See, y'all be worrying about the wrong thing. As right. Kanye said, you worry about the wrong thing. The wrong thing. The wrong like thing. Like you said, you ain't never seen him walk out looking like that. No. <laughs> They, they, made it look bad. Fuck right. they made that look bad. Like, bitch. Even when Solange had that fucked up face at the paparazzi, she still looked good. She still looked good. So, I mean, I'm not worried about that. So what? Everybody get pimples, bitch. Right. And like I said, who are going who's gonna put out an advertisement I just with a pimple on the face? Up here. And I was so happy yeah. it went down up on my side of my face. I, had one. I was so happy it went down. So So before we get out of here, um, I'm fucking there. Now y'all know I'm fucking there. <laughs> Normally we read her. Normally we read her. <laughs> but today she's on our good side. Yes. She's on our good side today. Because she's like, bitch, where's my money? Now, she was saying how she did the pilot for Kenya Moore and how she flown out, I guess she flown out to Atlanta to tape this pilot and stuff. And the Real Housewives of Atlanta was trying to tape her being on the show. And she said, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I'm only here for one thing, and that's to do this pod right, that's right. for Kenya Moore's allegedly new show that she's trying yeah. to get out there. Yeah. So she's like, she, the reason why, because she feels like, you know, it degrades black women, and, you know, I let Andre feel the way she feel about mm -hmm. that. And um, she just said, that's not something I want to be a part of. Right. So you have no choice but to respect, respect that. that. And then not only that, the person that Janet Hubert is, you would have thought that they would have already known not to even attempt to ask her to be on The Housewives of Atlanta. She don't strike me as a type that would be on that show. Yeah. So why y'all think that because y'all got her down here in Atlanta that somehow she'll turn around and say, oh, she'll agree to do the show. No. Jada Hubert does not strike me as a type that's... First of all, she don't strike me as a type that is that is worried about worried about making a quick dime. She don't strike me as that type at all. She really don't. <laughs> She really don't. You know, she don't strike me as that type. And, you know, she may need a quick dime, but she's not that type that'll announce to the world that she needs one. Mm -hmm. And she's also not that type to me that's trying to get her face back out there. Because trust me, the Housewives of Atlanta would have been a great place for her to get her face back out there mm -hmm. if she was that type. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that was a little shady of them to do that. Kenya Moore, like she said, I'm not even going to read you. For owing me that money, because you know you owe me that money. But Kenya, how the hell do you have somebody come down to Atlanta to do a pilot with you? The pilot goes well, according to Janet. And you know what? Janet could have really read her. Yeah. But she didn't say nothing bad about Kenya. She no. said she was very nice. She was pleasant to work with. And then you stiff her and you don't pay her for her services. How do you do that, Kenya? You don't do that to people. You just don't. But you know what, Kenya Moore? You've never really had a good reputation in this business anyway. That's why a lot of women, especially black women, don't like to work with you. And I'm glad that Donald Trump saw through you <laughs> on Celebrity Apprentice. He got you all the way together. Because this close, you made them think in that boardroom that Vivica A. Fox was crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay? You made them think that. For many, you made me think too. But then, like Don Jr. said, just a few days ago, Vivica was just tweeting about how happy she was. And she doesn't even tweet that often. And Vivica Fox don't strike me as the person that's going to get on Twitter and talk about how menopause is kicking her ass. <laughs> she don't strike me as that type. As a matter of fact, women of that caliber and of that class don't even strike me as the type that would even discuss female th issues like that. Mm -hmm. I call those type of women Barbara Walters women. Those type of women. Because wa Barbara Walters comes from the old school where Barbara Walters ain't telling you about her period. She ain't telling you about the man she slept with. She's just not doing it. If she's going to tell you about that, it's going to be in a book. Yeah, son. Get that That's how Barbara Walters is going to tell you. So All she gets the point. <laughs> but she's not going to tell you that on TV or on social media. So when they when she said, and then on top of that, Kenya Moore seemed to have known. That, and then they said, well, how do you know that she tweeted that? Oh, because we all just started following each other the other day. But it just so happens that you saw when Vivica tweeted that, huh? Mm -hmm. And you wanted to bring it up in the war room. Kenya Moore, you know what? It's a shame because you actually, I do think she's a beautiful woman. But she has some shady ways and you ain't going to never, ever, ever go far with them ways. If you think that them 
B-list, no, not even B-list. If you think that them D-list, straight to DVD movies account for anything, you got another thing coming, sweetheart, okay? And then your role on Housewives of Atlanta, because to be honest with you, before you signed up for Housewives of Atlanta, what were you doing? Who was talking about you? Nobody at all, okay? So you can keep throwing this title around Miss America, Miss USA, whatever, Miss whatever, okay? And it's a title that I would throw around probably too because I'd be proud of that title. Yeah. But sweetheart, stop acting like it just happened two years ago. Yeah. That was over almost 30 years ago, okay? 20. Over 20. Over 20 years ago. And you know what though? Can you even name any other Miss America? Well, she's not Miss America. Miss can you USA? Name any other Miss USA? Who cares? Because the only... And I'm trying to think, what's the difference between Miss America and Miss USA? Listen, one of them is Miss United States of America and one of them is just the America. Miss America. Well, but like, they both are the Miss same country. America, Miss America has more prestige than Miss USA. And which one was Kenya? Miss USA. Because okay. Vanessa Williams was Miss America. Miss America. And I watched how they did her dirty. Oh my yeah, God, that's a shame. Yeah, that is shame. At least she, you know. But she bounced back. Hell that. yeah. Yes, she did. And she's still getting fucking and jobs. She's still getting jobs. No matter how many times they get canceled, they still kiss the check. She still got a check in her pocket. <laughs> and she's going to always have a check in her pocket. Vanessa Williams is one classy B that's going to always have a check in her pocket. That's right. Okay? I love me some Vanessa. I do but too. Here. But um, um, can you pay, pay, I'm pay, pay her her money. Her <laughs> money. You, you're wrong for that. You don't do that. Because when I like, give you my money, this woman has to get on YouTube to make a video about you. <laughs> and she kept it real classy. <laughs> She did. She got real classy. She said, I could go in, but she I'm said, not. I could go in. I'll just let King and my union deal with that. <laughs> Shout out to the union. She said, The battle is not mine, it's the Lord's. I know that's, that's right. right. <laughs> it better be. I thought you was going to jump up. No, I wasn't going to jump up. Listen, y'all. Because it ain't my it's battle. It's been. To jump, jump to <laughs> <laughs> What's your battle? I said, That ain't my battle to shout to. That's Janet Hughes. Because guess what? I'm getting paid for my services. <laughs> Every two weeks. Okay? Can you imagine? And every month on this <laughs> show. And if you don't, if, if well. You don't, <laughs> so yeah, can you pay her money? Okay, don't do that. <laughs> Just don't be making no videos. Those who? It's you. I ain't making no I videos. I know you're gonna make a 15 second. I ain't making no videos. I'm coming to 2017. <laughs> Stop the video. I will be at your house like this with the camera. I'm here, y'all. <laughs> See, I don't oh. have a knock, I just walk in, but when I'm not, it's a problem. <laughs> so listen, y'all have a good weekend. Y'all be safe. Make sure y'all watch the Oscars this Sunday. Um, I'm really going to, I'm going to try to pay attention to the fashion stuff because I really don't do it. But I'm going to pay attention to the rear carpet. I'm going to watch the Oscars. Um, um, what's his name? Neil Patrick Harris is hosting the show. I just hope it's not boring. Everybody, I know y'all made that black people are not nominated, but still try to enjoy the show. We're not going to win every goddamn thing, okay? Or be nominated for everything. Else. Yes. So just enjoy the show, and we'll see you guys on Monday. We'll discuss everything that happened over the weekend. Y'all be good. Peace. Hello? Hello?